So I think I just discovered one of the coolest, probably most unique architectural softwares that I've ever experienced in my life. What happened is that a couple of weeks ago, I got contacted by a company called ShapeSpark. And ShapeSpark wanted me to make a video for them, basically showcasing on my channel what their program is and what it does. And to be honest with you, I had never heard of ShapeSpark. So what I did was that I asked them if they could you know, get on a call with me and explain to me what exactly their program does and what it is. And they were happy to do this. So I grabbed my phone, I started to create the little invite and then I sent it off. Now, when I sent it off, I asked them, what website would you guys like to host this video call on? And then that's when they said, well, we'd like to use ours. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, you see Shapes Park, one of the many features that it has is that it allows you to create invites and where you can host meetings where other people could come and experience uh, your designs and the models that you upload to it. And I'm like, uh, hold, okay, I'm kind of confused. So sure, let's go ahead and do this. And they're like, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and send you a link, just click it and you'll be right in our model. And I'm like, wait, but I'm not in, on a computer. And they're like, it doesn't matter. It works on your phone too. And I'm like, okay, so it was kind of weird, but they sent me the link, I clicked it on my phone, and as soon as I clicked it, it took me into this like VR 360 thing on my phone where as I was like basically panning around, I was able to see the model that they had created, everything was nicely rendered, you know, I could see the lights, the furniture, I could see everything, it was so cool. And the coolest part to me was actually that, A, it looked amazing, and then B, that I was able to do this on my phone. And I guess C, it was so easy. They just sent me a link. And so after getting off that video call, you can imagine that my mind was completely blown. And so of course I agreed to make a video for them. Now I'm gonna give you a real live demo of what it's like to use this program from the moment that we insert my own model into the project to the moment that we invite someone else and access the model. And so while I'm going ahead and making that phone call over to the, my friend, I'm gonna really quickly show you how simple it is to set this meeting up. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go to shapespark.com, then go to where it says log in. And then once you're logged in, you wanna go to where it says download and download the software. And I'm gonna show you what that's for in just one moment. After a few moments, it took me about 30 seconds. It'll say export finish and we can close out of this. And now we can open up the software that we downloaded. We wanna first go ahead and hit edit. This is where we're gonna control how our rendering is gonna look before we upload it into the internet. Just out of curiosity, I went ahead and I opened the stopwatch timer on my computer. Keep in mind that the amount of time that your computer takes to render is gonna completely vary on the actual model, the different elements that you have, how much detail you have, and also the hardware specs of your computer. All right, so it finally finished rendering. It took about 10, almost 11 minutes to do this. And uh, keep in mind that I used the draft setting for the quality. Now we can also edit materials that we have already in the model. Now you're gonna see how easy and quick it's gonna be to create this online meeting and share it with other people. First, you have to click this upload button. And what that's gonna do is that it's gonna put this model up in the cloud and it's gonna allow me to share it with other people and have them access it on their computers or phones or pretty much anything that has access to the internet. Now, once you have your model uploaded to the cloud, all you simply have to do is click this button here. It's gonna ask you how many minutes you want the meeting to be and you simply press create. And once you've done that, it's gonna go ahead and generate a link, which of course I've blurred out and you can use this link to share it with others. So let's go ahead and call my friend and see if he wants to jump on this virtual meeting so I can show you guys. What's up, brother? <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? I wanted to see if you want to help me out with a little mini project. It, it should only take like five minutes, maybe. I'm gonna send you like a little link so you could click on it. And all you have to do is click the link. It doesn't matter if you're like on your computer or if you're on your phone and it's to do a video chat, but the video chat is gonna be like in one of the buildings in one of the designs that I created. So I'm gonna right, send you the link now, just click it. All right, see you in a bit, man. All right, no, no, no. Peace. All right, so now I just gotta send them the link. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, if I'm gonna do it through phone or whatever, but I'm just gonna go on ShapeSpark on my phone. Hey, Alex. <laughs> Dude, look at me again. It's so funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. But actually, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if I can make this interesting and join in from my phone so that there's a third person in here and it would be me, but on my phone so I could use my camera. So look, you should hold on. I just got to switch over to my uh, Oh, this. See, that's me right now. I'm, I'm using my dude. Don't go around. There's there's a bunch of stuff I don't want you to see in here. I'm just kidding. 
You designed this place? Yeah, I designed this place. Exactly. Wow, man. I'd totally let you design my house. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. So yeah, we got the reason, again, the reason that we have the TVs in the hallways is because I was supposed to like add, uh, share my screen, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Could you wait, wait, time out, time out. I figured out how to do it. All you have to do is once you have one of these TVs like I did in my space, you just have to use an extension that you find on ShapeSpark to assign this little button right here. And once you press that button, it asks you if you wanna share your screen, you can pick what you wanna share. We're gonna go ahead with entire screen, you click it. And just like that, I'm sharing my screen and everybody that's in the space can see what I'm showing you. Look, all the little buttons are there just like on my screen. But anyway, I didn't wanna interrupt. Go ahead and play the rest of the video. Did you do that thing that you did with the with the pointer? So I want to see that again. Press this button. Look, you look over here on the wall. Yeah, that's awesome. So you could point to things and dude, I still can't get over the fact that I can see your face and you're like this this little dummy <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'm trying to get my face to show. I found a toilet. You found a toilet? <laughs> yeah. In a room full of mirrors. What kind of <laughs> what kind of psychopathic hold on i gotta i gotta see that you are i think you're in the other <laughs> building right the adjacent one let me this see this is genius <laughs> well guess who designed it i like it there's no sink either so people just <laughs> there you go. wash your hands in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is awesome oh dude this is so cool so come meet me at back at the the main area the kitchen area you should be able actually to fast travel uh, you see at the top right where it says view, if you click it. Oh yeah, I went straight back to the beginning. Yeah. All right, so look, now you can see my face. Yeah, dude, that's so <laughs> funny. Yeah, you guys are gonna be on my YouTube channel. Is that is that exciting for you guys? <laughs> Most fame I've ever had in my life. That's cool, man. This is really neat. Yeah, it so is, can, right? You use it to show clients, he designed this. No, I agree, dude. I think this is like one of the coolest things ever. This app is amazing. Yeah. Like, here, I'll get my- uh, put a television the, in the hallway. The third guy to follow us so that people that are watching me on YouTube know what the heck I'm doing. It's just that, you know, I don't have a Hello, camera. Hello, YouTube followers. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm speaking on behalf of them. <laughs> That's, this is my uh, my little workstation. How'd you get through there? Wow, this is cool, man. Yeah, this is like a little workstation. Yeah. What's the shape of the desk for? I have no idea what this is. I found this model online. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was gonna say that looks like where you just draw your pencils and they just gather there and then. <laughs> oh, you have a nice little painting here. Yep. With your channel's logo. Exactly. All right, so now I'm gonna send my friend uh, the link to the other space that ShapeSpark included, and just so they can see how how much better it looks because this model actually they took their time to set it up, as opposed to me where I didn't have too much time and my model wasn't really optimized for it anyway. A real apartment. Hey man. What's up, dude? All right, so yeah, this is the one that they they uh, handed me. They actually took their time to set this thing up and you know, they added the proper textures. They made sure that the textures were rendered properly, all that good stuff. And so that's why this, it looks so much better. This is like, really nice. Yeah, this look at the- the world's smallest apartment. I don't know why immediately when I saw this, I was like- What happened? He... <laughs> now we'll never know what he was gonna say. Oh, yeah, it. sorry. Oh yeah, I got- I freaking drop my phone. Dude, that's hilarious. That out video, by the way. I'm gonna leave that part in there. <laughs> All right. Bro, so uh, yeah, that's it, man. That's really, thanks for, for taking the time to check this out with me, dude. Dude, this is sick, man. If you do any more of them, send me the links. I'll All right. Check them out. I will, dude. Definitely, I will. But you probably have some questions on the program itself, so I decided to go on the website and answer some of these. So first off, you're probably wondering what kind of requirements do you need uh, in order to use this program? Well, it says here that the minimum requirements are 64-bit Windows 7, 8, or 10, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and an integrated graphics card. What they recommend is that you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, a four core CPU, and a mid-range or high-end NVIDIA graphics card. Now you're probably wondering what kind of programs are compatible with ShapesPark. Well, there's SketchUp, 3ds Max, Revit, Maya, and Cinema 4D. And any other 3D modeling program that you may have, you can simply export as an FBX, a Collada, or an OBJ. And in case you're wondering, this program does work with VR. Some of those headsets include the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive, 
any Windows Mixed Reality headsets, Oculus Quest and Oculus Go, Google Cardboard, Daydream, and the Gear VR. And any other questions that you have that I don't answer by the end of this video, feel free to add it down in the comments and I'll find the answer for you as best as I can. So I hope that now you can see why I agreed to make this video. It's because honestly, I really do think it's a program that has so much potential and it makes something that otherwise would be so complicated to do, it makes it so easy. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this project. What are the pros and the cons that you see? What are the features that you think are missing that maybe you'd like to see in the future? Let let me know and also remember that if you go to the description there's a link there you can click it it'll take you to their website you can find out more about shapes park or you can try it out for yourself and remember i'm mooch i create architectural type content so if you want to learn more about the field if you're thinking about getting into architecture or maybe you want to know what like the professional environment is like go ahead and subscribe and make sure to leave comments letting me know what type of content you'd like to see and i'd be happy to make more of that type of content for you guys also remember we have a new website now go ahead and check it out that's moochph.com a lot of cool stuff happening there and a lot of cool stuff is going to happen uh, in the future so uh, subscribe to my channel check the website out let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments